A lot of kids are probably getting excited to see their friends as a new school year gets underway, but how can you be sure all of their friends are a good influence? In this week's First With Kids, Dr. Lewis first explains what you can teach your child about peer pressure. Parents have been pressuring me to give them some tips to help their children deal with peer pressure. Well, let me see if I can decompress some of their concerns and provide some information on this topic. Peer pressure can have both positive and negative effects on your child. If a peer of your child teaches your child how to play a sport better or learn to be better at a subject in school that they're having difficulty with, then that's a positive benefit of having peers. But sometimes, peers can have a negative influence, and despite this, children will go along with that influence to be liked, fit in, or to prevent being made fun of. So what can you do to help your child deal with negative peer pressure? First, you can talk about it openly with your children and continue to do so as they get older. Tell your child to listen to their gut. If they feel uncomfortable, even if their friends are okay with what's going on, then they shouldn't go further into that situation. Give them some strategies to say no to peers, such as telling them to try changing the subject, changing the plan, saying, let's go play basketball, instead of doing something that your child knows is wrong, or even blaming you as parents by saying, I'll be grounded for life. You could also tell your child to simply say that they're in training if they play a sport and are being pressured to try smoking, drinking, or other risk-taking drugs. If they're told everybody does it, teach them to say, I don't care. I'm not everybody, and therefore, I won't do it. A great idea is to arrange a rescue code phrase that will prevent your child from losing face, but get them out of a difficult peer pressure situation, such as calling home to say they're not feeling well. And that's likely to be true due to the stress of peer pressure. Another idea is for your child to find a friend who believes in standing up to peer pressure as well, since two can be easier than one in resisting. Finally, if the situation proposed by peers is considered dangerous by your child, remind your child to seek adult help before anyone gets hurt. Hopefully, you'll not feel pressured and yet still pay attention to these tips so your child or teen is not pressured either when it comes to dealing with the problem of peer pressure. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids. If you have a question for Dr. First, just send them an email. The address is firstwithkids at mynbc5.com.